Hey everyone, this is Jennifer and today I'm doing something a little bit different and I thought I would film and share planning kind of the back half of my week. So typically when I do my plan with me's, you see how the week starts like here and then maybe you don't see the finished product at all or um, it's just a picture on Instagram. So I thought as I'm sitting down to kind of update some things that I would take you along. Um, today is Wednesday the 23rd. So I do need to do some updating on this first half and we are going to start with tomorrow before I forget. Um, I do now have another 504 meeting that wasn't um, scheduled before. So I'm going to use another one of these labels again in the orange. And this one will be a 504 meeting. Now, a lot of you have messaged me and said you appreciate seeing kind of a behind the scenes look too. So I can tell you um, what I do to kind of keep it easy for me with sticker organization is that since I used this sheet and this, well, several of these doodles, I actually kept all of these in with my kit for the week so I didn't have to go searching back through the binders or albums whichever organizational system you use and then at the end of the week if I'm not using these for the next week I will put them back in their appropriate spot but I like to have the stickers right at hand with my kit if that makes sense so I do need one of those I need the paper clip to add um, on this one and then let's flip back to this first half and make sure that everything that sort of was supposed to happen did happen and right away this six o'clock practice did not happen we actually have like an impromptu play date and so the good thing is I can just remove the sticker planner kate stickers are removable so that's the first step and then I need to add what really happened which was that play date now to do that I wanted something a little bit larger so I did pull this sheet of full box flags s1717 was the sheet number it might be updated by now because some of my sticker sheets are older and then um, Kate updates the listings but um, you should still be able to get them if you want them. And then I thought since I was using the doodles this week, I would find a doodle that has something to do with play date. One option might be these little banners. I thought I could write play on them, but I do have two other binders to look through. And I know I'm gonna need these later, so while they're here, I'm just gonna go ahead and pull those out. Okay, nothing really play date related, so I am going to use one of these banners and kind of make my own little play situation here, maybe. Just ripped off the end of that. And I thought I would just write in play on the individual flags. And we'll do, it was actually 3.30 to like seven, which was really nice. Um, I had a little bit of a break and got to do some planning and spend some time with my mom while he was at a friend's house. Okay, the other thing that I need to add is that we had our front door replaced. So I thought this doodle sheet would be really cute and probably just layer it with something from the kit. And we will go with one of these half boxes and an orange sticker. Yeah, 
Yes, I think that looks super cute. And we'll put that up here in the morning time slot. And then I did have a training today after school for our two o'clock out. And I will use another combination of these paper clips, but just to make it a little bit different because it wasn't like an IEP or 504 meeting, I will use one of these decorative labels. Still going to use a paper clip though. And that happened right about here. Now, the other thing that's kind of behind the scenes that I don't always show is that this planner stays at home, mostly because I love to use my planner Kate stickers and I don't wanna have to haul all of my stuff to work. And I like having all of my planner Kate stickers available. So typically what happens is this stays at home um, out in the kitchen or on my desk. And then this is what goes with me to work. And I do what's called daily logging. So I have some sort of daily spread in here. And then as things happen, I go ahead and write them down. I do kind of journal also in the same space, but this is just like a daily logging section. So I'm gonna reference this to make some of my to-do lists that have already been done. This may seem redundant, but I like having um, all of my plans in this book because at the end of the year, I have a book on a coil that I can archive and then my traveler's notebook inserts, I just throw away. So that's why I do that. Plus playing with the stickers is um, relaxation time for, for me. I know not everyone's brain works that way, just how I like to do things. So it looks like on Monday slash Tuesday, I got quite a few things done that I would like to write down just in case I need to look back. Um, if I, you know, sometimes I also forget what I've done. I know that sounds ridiculous, but that is true. So if I write it down and I check it off and I reference this, I can say, oh yes, I already did that. So I pulled these full box ombre stickers in the navy and the orange. And I think for my Tuesday list, I will use one of the navy boxes. Um, I did edit my warehouse Wednesday YouTube video. And that was posted and is live. And work emails were like piling up. So that actually took quite a bit of my um, office time on Monday and Tuesday, but I did get through all of those. And I needed to get my son some glasses. And that was done. And then I actually did some retail therapy while my son was at this play date. I was out at my mom's and I ordered some new fun stuff, so. Um, we'll just put online orders for that. And then in preparation for some bill paying, I did work on our budget and make some transfers. And then for some scheduling purposes, I needed to send out a reminder to my son's teacher and office staff. And that was done. And we'll put that in right here on Tuesday. And let's go ahead and look and see if there's anything that I need to add other than that 504 meeting that I already put down for the rest of the week. I know for sure I'm working on that sorority project for cheese balls. It's kind of a disaster right now. <laughs> Some things are up in the air and I just need to tie up some loose ends for that. I think I will use this last decorative box with one of these little flags.
to mark the importance I really need, um, like I said, to tie up those loose ends and that involves calling some people. So we'll put down cheese ball decision. And I would like to get that done pretty quickly tomorrow morning. And then we will use another one of those full box ombres boxes. This time, well, we're gonna do blue again because I have a lot of orange going on already. I do need to do next week's um, editing and uploading cycle. I need to pull my files for next week and put them in my little travel bin. I already have down these referrals. I've actually started those, so I'm not gonna add them to this list. Hopefully they get done by Friday. I need to schedule a pickup for these pumpkins that my husband ordered. And I think I'm gonna leave the last three of these blank for right now and see where we're at um, tomorrow. And then I do wanna add on Saturday, actually, we're gonna do some shifting. Again, so thankful that these are removable and repositionable. I'm gonna move this weekly reset over to Saturday and use another full box flag like I did for that play date. We'll do the navy blue again. For Friday evening, there is another local rodeo that we want to go to. We actually ended up going to one this past weekend as well. Um, so I, wanna, I want to plan that because we had so much fun as a family there. And my son was like, yes, please, let's go to the next one. So that's what we will do. And we need some sort of sticker. So let's use a skinny dash label for that. And layer that over. Maybe we'll do this. I'm changing my mind. I like this option better. I like how that looks. So let's go ahead and mimic that again and put another one of those down and then just write on the actual full box flag, PM, rodeo time. Okay. So that is my Wednesday evening um, planner update. I typically try to take some time to do this once or twice throughout the week. So I'll probably sit down again, maybe on a Saturday and Sunday and fill in any changes that I need to make to wrap this week up. Um, thank you guys for joining me. If you liked seeing this process and it's something you would like to see in the future rather than just the beginning of the week plan with me, please let me know. I do really value your input and I appreciate you being here. See you back next time.